Here is the dissection of my 2007 American Standard Colony. This is the one that came out of my grandma's bathroom and was replaced by the 1983 plebe. There is nothing physically wrong with this toilet, but it clogs too easily, so I do not want to pass it on to anyone else. So let's start with the rim and see how well these rim jets are punched out. Siphon jet channels pretty clear. Rim jets look okay. I remember it had a specially bad bowl rinse right here, so I'm gonna break it right there and see what's inside. Oh, would you look at that? They didn't punch the jet out. And then over there is just the siphon jet channel. So yeah, there's the problem. And there's another rim jet. Looks very poorly spaced out. The only thing I like about this toilet is its build quality and the ability for it to flush well on a high tank or flushometer. It's a very heavy toilet. can't really get a good view of the rim because it keeps breaking apart in weird places. But there's where the water enters. Pretty simple. Not really much to show there. So now let's look at the trap. I really do need a bigger tray for this, don't I? It looks like there are like scratches or something up here from where they punched the jets a little bit weird. Like what's going on here? Like if you look, there's like a hole in the front of the rim. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but you can see a little hole right there that would just like squirt straight out. So I'm gonna start back here with this part of the trapway. That broke easier than I thought. Here's part of an orange flapper. Don't know why that's in there. There's where it was snaked. And there is a very small section of trapway. Don't know how many of you remember this, but this toilet had razor, bl razor blades in it when I found it. They were clogging up the trapway, and it was originally on a Home Depot value tank when I first found it. I'll link a video because it's pretty old and most of you probably haven't seen it. So, I am betting that most of the clogs probably happened around right here because it looks like this is right where it gets small. And there's actually minerals in it. I did not know that. That's interesting. But, yeah, the toilet was not very good. It's one of the ones that I'm more glad to get rid of. Made in Nicaragua. Here's just the siphon jet channel. It's got some minerals. Looks like they might have used blue dye tablets. No real issues with minerals in this, except for just at the trapway opening and that didn't really affect anything. But look at all this 
scratches from a snake. Definitely was clogged pretty hard at one time. So that's about it. all I have for this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.